Good morning, my Boreo chiropractic family. Hey guys, uh, hopefully you had a great weekend. Thank God Central New York, right, was, uh, was a sunny weekend. We all got a chance to get out and get some fresh air and, and uh, move around a little bit, get out of the house, right, and uh, see some friends and family. So that was fantastic. What a wonderful weekend. So today I wanted to talk about the easiest way to make positive changes in your life and in your health. And I think the, the biggest... I know as a, as a doctor, as a chiropractor here in my office, we talk to people about their health. And I think the biggest challenge and the biggest, most common reaction people have is, oh, like I'm going to have to stop doing this. I'm going to have to stop doing that. Something's going to be taken away. You immediately feel the loss, right? So that's where most people start to react. And as a result, they're less likely to take an initiative in order to change your health. So I'm going to tell you to do something differently. What I'm going to tell you to do is only add something. So we're going to make little changes. And remember, those little changes may seem insignificant, but they're monumental. Remember, brushing your teeth takes a couple minutes a day. The one time is insignificant. Doing it regularly throughout your lifetime is life-changing for you, right? So, um, so hi, Judy. Good morning. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to think about what your ultimate goal is. You may have an ultimate goal. I want to lose weight. I want to be in better shape. I want to be healthier in some way, right? I want to be happier, whatever that may be, right? And stop thinking about taking something away. The easiest way to make a massive positive change in your life is to add something. So, so think about adding something. Think about adding a little bit of something that's positive for you in your day to day, in your life. That's all you got to do. And you're going to need to do that consistently, adding something positive, not taking anything away. So adding something positive and doing it regularly, doing it regularly for a minimum of three months. Ideally, 90, uh, I'm sorry, nine months is when it really becomes so ingrained in you that doing it the new way becomes easier than doing it the older way, or you'll default after after nine months but it takes about 90 days to where it actually becomes easy to do the new thing to add the new thing so let me give you a couple quick examples and we'll call it a day number one let's say that um you want to have you want to start your day off healthier food wise okay so you're going to do your breakfast break your fast and you're going to do something in the morning uh, that's healthier for you. And let's say, and again, I'm using more of an extreme example here. Let's say your choice for food isn't so great. Uh, it's McDonald's coffee with something that isn't so great and you smoke cigarettes in the morning, right? So most people are thinking, oh geez, he's going to tell me not to go to McDonald's. He's going to tell me not to smoke or whatever. I'm not going to go there. I'm going to say add something really healthy. So earlier that week, go to the store and get some produce, get some apples, get some oranges, get some bananas, whatever you want. And in the morning with your McDonald's, McDonald's, with your coffee, with your cigarette, add a banana, add an apple, add an orange, add a grapefruit, add something healthy. Rather than thinking about taking something away, add something healthy. And I will tell you that it is the easiest thing to do in order to make changes in your life. Because the first thing we're thinking of is, oh, I got to stop doing this and I got to stop doing that. No, 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 no. Don't stop doing that right away. Necessarily, right? The best step is to add something. Hey, I'm going to add a walk in the morning, right? I'm going to add listening to a couple of minutes of something really positive on the internet. I'm going to add reading a page of a book. You know, God, I love to read a book. Oh, you know, I don't have time. Da, da, da. Read one page. Do little, small, what appear to be insignificant steps in making those changes. And what happens is when you add something that's really good for you without taking anything away, what happens is it becomes a habit and adding that something really good for you is awesome. It'll be fantastic. Then what happens is as you add several things that are new, it becomes a lot easier eventually to stop. Your desire to stop doing something maybe that isn't so good for you actually becomes your idea and you're ready to do it. Most people start immediately like I'm going to take everything away and, and, the, and the failure rate is really high. But if you start by adding something easy, fun and healthy for you, the success rate becomes very, very high. Vin, uh, Vince Lombardi, I don't know if you guys ever uh, heard of him. He was a, a famous uh, football coach back in the day. 
for the Green Bay Packers. He said, you know, the more you sacrifice, the harder it is to surrender. And so I so agree with that. So the more I put something in in order to make a positive change in my life, in my health, in my practice, uh, in our coaching company, and people I love and care about, the more you put into it, it's harder to quit. So my advice to you is by adding those little things, you're investing in yourself little steps at a time and then it becomes I don't even want to say harder it becomes really easy to make better choices because you're emotionally vested and divested uh, into yourself now listen uh, in closing here guys uh, we're over here at Boreal Chiropractic Health Center hey Gail uh, we're in Boreal Chiropractic Health Center. We're right in Cicero. A uh, big warm and embrace to all you guys. So I want to reach out to you guys. When you're looking to make some significant changes in your health, remember that your brain and your spine, your nervous system control every aspect of your body. And it's something that needs to, I'm going to use an analogy. It's something that needs to be brushed and flossed. It's something that needs to be taken care of regularly. And most people don't do it, right? We tend to think, oh, geez, my back hurts or my neck hurts, so I need to take care of it when it hurts. But you wouldn't do that with your teeth. You wouldn't wait till, you know, I'm not going to brush or floss till I get a cavity, then I'm going to take care of it. So same thing with your spine and vertebrae. They're bones that need to be brushed and flossed, they need to be taken care of. Why? Because the bones can get sick and the nerves that are inside the bone, they'll get sick too. So getting it checked and, and flossed and brushed, if you will, washing that plaque off, if you will, getting it adjusted and getting it lined up is always gonna make your spine not only feel great, but it's gonna be healthier, nervous system's gonna be healthier, ultimately, you're gonna be healthier. And just remember what's going on with this whole COVID crisis right now, you know, the reality is this, who's most at risk? Not the healthy people, not the healthy senior citizen, you know, 99% of the people that are being affected by this are the sickly people, younger or older, predominantly older people that are sick. So the question is, you know, we don't wake up out of bed in the morning sick, right? You work in many cases to be sick, either by doing something bad for you or what? By neglecting it. So adding those little good things consistently will make you healthy. Getting in regularly to a chiropractor, getting your spine checked and adjusted here at Boreal Chiropractic, for my local peeps here would be uh, highly beneficial to live a good quality life. Uh, lastly, if I'm not, I, I've had a few people reach out to me and they say, hey, I'm not local. Um, if you're not local here in Cicero, New York, uh, by all means, reach out to me and I'll make sure I find somebody good for you. So if you're looking to be under chiropractic care, which I don't know why you wouldn't, but if you're looking to be under care and you're like, wow, geez, I really like what Dr. Joe said. I want to find somebody like him, but I live in... Uh, California, or I live uh, way up in upstate and you're hours away, not a problem. Reach out to me and I'll make sure I connect you with somebody that's fantastic that's always going to put your interest ahead of their own, okay? Love and appreciate you guys. Uh, have a wonderful day. Add something small. Add a little small thing to your daily routine that's good and healthy for you. Do it consistently and it'll literally change your life. Love and appreciate you guys.